Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Live at 585 on this Friday. We are finishing up Revelation chapter 1 today. Revelation chapter 1, starting in verse number 20. This is where we pick it up. As we finish up this first chapter, Revelation 1, 20, uh, Jesus continues to speak as John records. It says, The mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand and the seven golden lampstands. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands which you saw are the seven churches. So if you remember back in Revelation chapter 1, starting in verse number 12, when Jesus, uh, when, when John describes seeing Jesus, he says this, that I turned to see the voice that spoke with me, and having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. So back in verse number 12, we learn that John sees Jesus standing in the midst of seven golden lampstands. And we take note of that and we go, I wonder what that means. And we continue to read. And he says, and in the middle of the seven lampstands, one like the son of man clothed with a garment down to his feet and girded about the chest with a golden band, his head, hair are white. And he goes on to say that. Then you get down to verse 16 and he says, he had in his right hand, um, he had in his right hand seven stars and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. So we know that Jesus, as John sees him in this vision, is standing in the midst of seven golden lampstands, and in Jesus' right hand, he's holding seven stars. And we read this, and we go, well, what does that mean? And we can try to spiritualize it and, and make up different ideas about what we think it means, but something that we have to realize as Bible students is the best commentary on the Bible is the Bible. And particularly the book of Revelation the majority of symbolism that is used in this book is defined in this book. And if it's not defined in the book of Revelation, it's defined somewhere else in God's word. Back in the Old Testament, back in the book of Daniel, back in the book of Isaiah, back in the book of Ezekiel, the same imagery is used. And we use that to figure out what's being communicated here. So previously in verses 12 and verses 16 in Revelation chapter 1, we learn that Jesus is standing in the midst of lampstands. We know that in his right hand, he's holding seven stars. And now that we get to verse number 20, we know what's taking place here because Jesus tells us exactly what John's seen. He says, the mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand and the seven golden lampstands. He goes, I'm going to tell you what that was all about earlier. He goes, the seven stars... Are, are the angels of the seven churches. The seven stars in his right hand are the seven angels of the seven churches. And he says, the seven lampstands which you saw are the seven churches. When John sees Jesus standing in the midst of the golden lampstands, he's seeing Jesus stand in the midst of the seven churches of Asia Minor that Jesus is getting ready to write letters to in chapters 2 and 3. Each one gets a unique message from the Lord. Some of it's encouragement, some of it's discouragement, some of them only get encouragement, some of them only get discouragement. We'll go through each one of those starting tomorrow. But the point is Jesus interprets this for us. We don't have to sit around in a circle and say, well, what do you think the seven lampstands are? No, Jesus says, I'm going to tell you what the seven lampstands are. The seven lampstands are the seven churches. And those uh, seven stars that I hold in my right hand, in verse number 16, Jesus says, those seven stars in my right hand, those are the seven angels of the seven churches. Now, what is that all about? Several different ideas about that. One, that word angel means messenger, no doubt. And um, many places throughout the New Testament where that uh, Greek word angelos, angel, is used, it's referring to what we automatically think of angel when we hear that word like an angelic being, a heavenly messenger. And that very well could be the case. And if this is the case, it's kind of neat because he says, I'm holding the seven angels of the seven churches that could imply that each church has its own kind of angel. You know, each church has its own maybe kind of guardian angel, as the book of Hebrews references. Um, so maybe that's the case, as each church has an angel that kind of represents it in heaven. Possible. 
Another idea, though, is that word angel in the Greek, when you translate it over, literally, it just means messenger. And there are, there, well, I should say it this way, there is an instance in the, in the gospel, I believe it's in the gospel of Luke, where John the Baptist's disciples are referred to as angels, as messengers. Meaning that when we see that word angel in the Bible, messenger, the majority of time it's talking about angelic beings, but there are instances when it's talking about human messengers. And those who choose to believe that that word angel in verse number 20 is talking about just a messenger and it could be referring to a human messenger, believe that the seven lampstands are the seven churches. The seven stars in Jesus' right hand are the messengers. Of the seven churches who are the messengers of the churches well many would say it could be referring to the leaders of the church the pastor I kind of am keen to that idea because where am I at if that's the case I'm in Jesus's hand right and I kind of like that and even if that's not the case John chapter 10 tells you and me that all of us are in Jesus's hand as believers anyway so that's another idea though that, that, that he's either talking about angelic beings as heavenly messengers, and each church has one, or he's talking about human messengers, just like John the Baptist disciples are referred to as uh, messengers, angels, earlier in the Gospels. And uh, he could be talking about the church leader, the pastor, who's in his hand there as well. Doesn't really matter either way as far as understanding the context, but those are the two main views on that idea. The point is, is that the seven lampstands is the church and the seven stars are the angels the messengers that jesus has in his hand and we see it revealed back in verses 12 and 16 and we see it clarified we see it identified in verse number 20. so uh, the the um the study strategy that we walk away with from verse number 20 is that the best commentary on the Bible is the Bible. When you get to verse 12 and verse 16, well, I wonder if the lampstand means, and you can go into all this stuff, or you can just keep reading and realize that Jesus is going to identify this for me. Jesus is going to let me know what he's talking about. And if it's not revealed later on in the book of Revelation when you're reading it, take note of it. Start going back to Daniel. Start going back to Genesis, some of this stuff. Start just rereading the rest of your Bible and all the imagery that's referred to in the book of Revelation has already been dealt with somewhere else in God's word. And we simply just connect the dots and it all makes sense. So that's what we learned this morning. The best commentary on the Bible. Well, it is the Bible. Jesus, he's in the midst of the seven golden lampstands, which means he's in the midst of the church. And he's holding the seven messengers, the seven angels of the seven churches in his right hand. Starting tomorrow, as we start Revelation chapter 2, we see Jesus write his first letter to this first of the seven churches. And we'll go through, um, we'll probably read each letter before and then spend a couple days in each letter as we see Jesus, um, man, give these churches advice. He encourages them, he discourages them, he tells them they need to get their act together. It's really good stuff. So let's pray real quick and uh, we will get on with our Friday. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for today. Lord, thank you for uh, your love and your grace. And Jesus, we just ask that, um, Lord, today uh, that you would go before us as we do the things that you have called us to do. Um, Lord, we thank you for your word, Lord, for the book of Revelation. And God, thank you that we finished up Revelation chapter 1. And Lord, we look forward to getting into these seven letters to the seven churches starting tomorrow. And Jesus, thank you that you are in the midst of the seven golden lampstands. Lord, you are in the midst of your church. Jesus, that's us. What an encouragement that is. Jesus, thank you that the best commentary on the Bible is the Bible. And if we as good Bible students just take note of our questions and continue to read and continue to search and study, Lord, we'll be able to see those dots connected, Lord, with those questions that we've had. So God, just thank you for today. Um, Lord, uh, it's looking like we might get some rain, Lord, which would just be great with all the smoke and these fires uh, that are all around the West, God. So we just uh, I pray for safety for those who are directly involved in that. Lord, in your name we pray. Amen.
Amen. Hope you guys have a great uh, Friday. We will see you tomorrow as we start Revelation chapter 2, verse number 1, with the first letter of the seven letters to the seven churches.